Thank you, Al, members and guests. Today I'm going to talk about the sergeant at arms role and how it is most effectively performed. The sergeant at arms role is a very interesting role because as far as speaking goes, there's not a lot of it, but it can have a huge impact on the meeting as a whole, partly because that person is responsible for setting up the room and partly because that person is the first person to talk. So if you have somebody come up here who goes, yeah, welcome to Toastmasters. And everybody's everybody's all bummed out and nobody's gonna nobody's gonna be jazzed up and ready for the meeting. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about with the sergeant at arms role is how you present yourself. Think sergeant. I stole that directly from Al, by the way. Think sergeant. You're taking control of the meeting. You are opening the meeting, you are ready to go. High energy. Like I said, if the, the first person to speak in a meeting frequently sets the tone for the whole meeting. So if you get up here and go, yeah, this and that and blah, 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 and you're not interested, then it's very hard to, for the whole group to engage for the rest of the meeting. Some of the actual duties of the sergeant, the speaking role of the sergeant is very small. The sergeant opens the meeting, but before that is really the critical, one of the main critical parts of the sergeant role. Prior to the meeting, it is ideal if you can arrive 10 minutes in advance, at least, because the sergeant at arms is responsible for setting up the room. So when you get here, the first thing that you want to do as sergeant at arms, you want to be sure that we have our podium up here. You want to be sure that we have our lovely club banners, which signifies a long and lasting tradition of High Noon Toastmasters, over 25 years of awards and recognition for our club. You want to be sure that we have, I'm pointing, but you can't see it off camera, you want to be sure that you have the lights set up at the back of the room, and you want to be sure that there is some, that the timekeeper has some kind of a timekeeping device back there with them. You want to be sure that the lights are plugged in and functional. You want to set out all of the name tags so that people can have their name tags in front of them to help the Toastmaster and the, the Table Topics Master. It is also important to, take an, to keep an eye on who's coming in the room. Greet people. Look out for guests. Make sure they're greeted. Make sure that their name is on the board so that we can address them as appropriate. Once the meeting has started, or I apologize, also prior to the meeting, touch base with the Toastmaster. Make sure that they don't have anything that they need you to help with, such as passing out agendas. It's also important to go ahead and be sure that you have ballots set at each of our spots. When it is time to actually open the meeting, be punctual. We want to be sure that we are very, very mindful of other people's schedules. So we want to start exactly at 10 minutes after 12. When you open the meeting, you're going to begin by welcoming everyone, specifically welcoming our guests. You want to be sure that you've introduced the banner. We don't want to just hang it and assume people notice. We want to call attention to it. A lot of work went into that banner, so we want to be sure people, people are mindful of that. It's important to remind people to bring and be filling out their competent leadership manuals, which helps gain club credit. And we as a club are generally poor at remembering. It is important when you're talking, when you're doing your introduction, that when we do our voting, that you let the guests know that they are eligible to vote for who they think is the best speech, best table topics, best evaluator. One of the most critical things that you need to say when you're performing the Sergeant of Arms role is you need to be sure that you remind people to turn off cell phones. If you do not turn off cell phones, I promise you, embarrassing things will happen. That is the one time someone will call you during meeting if you forget to turn off your cell phone. I promise you, I'm not, I'm not making this up. 
telling you from experience. And that's, that's the things you have to remember when you're actually doing an introduction. Now, I'm going to tell you right now that when you're, when you're up here as Sergeant at Arms for the first time, no one will think worse of you if you have a cheat sheet to remind you the bullet points of the things that you need to be sure you say when you're up here. Better to get all the, that information out because it's important housekeeping items that we need to be sure that we convey, especially to guests. And finally, before you turn over the podium, you're going to introduce Toastmaster of the Day. Feel free to make fun of that person. <laughs> After the meeting, you're going to make sure that all of our paraphernalia is put up, that we have our banner put up, we have our lights, we actually have a box in the back that we can tuck everything into and put it in the back in the closet. It's helpful if you, if you will have a chance to revisit the guests. And technically, it's a sergeant at arms responsibility to turn off the lights when we leave the room. And that is sergeant at arms in a nutshell.